Hello everyone and welcome back to episode number 10, I believe, of making a mod with Pikimu. This episode we're going to be going over armor and uh, yeah, and adding the textures, which I won't be creating the textures, I'll just show you what textures you need. So go into our packages and stuff like that. So our main source folder, create a new package com dot your name so hello and mod armor or just armor it doesn't really matter um, so yeah and we're gonna name this armor actually mod armor as well and so for this we need of course the public static void main registry and I will remember to um, register it in the main class this time, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Um, there we go. Pull up my reference. And yes. All right. So, whoops. Initialize item. Basic one. And register item. That. And let's head over to our main class and add mod armor dot main registry. There we go. And it looks, uh, yeah, let's just add that. So if we hover over this, it says we're missing the registry. So if you click that, it will just make it. Oh, never mind. Okay, that's a bit odd. Alright, so let's make our other classes as well. Public static initialize item. And everyone should know how to spell that word by now. And public static register item. And there we go. So Oh, add void to that, and void to that. And there we go, save that. Now is our main registry file good? Looks like it. Alrighty, so now we are ready to add our armor. And first off, I'm going to add the armor material. So you want to start off with public static armor material. And of course, name it. So in this case, I'll do blaze equals enum helper, which is basically again just um, making something that uses numbers. Add armor material. Again, we're going to name it uh, blaze. And now we need to set the attributes. So durability, we're going to set to 500. We're going to reduct at or we want our enchantability to enchantability to be 10 and in here uh, let's put a semicolon after that and I don't believe we need that part so we want new int which is an integer brackets and then curly brackets. So then in that we will need uh, how many armor points it gives. So, um, and they need to be in the order of like helmet, chest plate, legs, and uh, boots. So normal diamond armor is I think uh, three, eight, six, and three, or four, eight, four, and four, or something like that. So it has to equal 16 points in total, I believe. Or 18. There it is. Something or another. Uh, doesn't matter too much. So helmet is going to be 4. Uh, chest will be 8. Um, 4 and... Let's do 2. So that's 12, 16, 18. 
and I believe I need to import this. There we go. So we can edit those values later. So for now, we have our armor material. So the armor is a little bit more complicated than a normal um, thingy, but you create the item itself uh, just like anyone else. So public static uh, blaze comet and copy that four more or three more times. A little bit less work than the tools, and we of course got to change them to their respective thing. A chest plate. There we are. I should really take typing lessons. Uh, leggings and boots. So now we have all those, and they should be good. Am I missing something? Huh, that's a bit... oh. That would explain it. Item. Yeah, there we go. Item. Item. And item. And import that. There we go. Now everything's correct. Next up, we get our items, so uh, let's copy Blaze Helmet, copy that, place it down, so Blaze Helmet equals new, and what we want to do now is uh, use, uh, for example, this one we want to use Blaze Armor, and you want to have that for every single one, so you don't want to change that part. So then we want to open it up and we want to do blaze or the name of your um, armor tool thing, comma main registry dot proxy dot add. Oh, something's wrong. Or is it? No, it's fine. Okay. So add armor and then parentheses or quotation parentheses then quotations inside of those and the name of the piece of armor. So blaze helmet and then after that we want to do comma zero and the comma zero stands for what armor slot it goes in. So zero is helmet, one is chest, two is leggings, and three is the boot, so you want to make sure you have them set correctly. Next, we want to set the unlocalized name, so just type that in, and of course, name it the Blaze Helmet, and then set Creative Tab, parentheses, and Creative Tabs dot um, armor, I believe. Or is it combat? Uh, let's do combat. Just because I believe that's the correct one. And control shift O, import that. And tab combat. Okay, that's it. And I believe that's everything except we need to um, set the texture yet. So we want to create a new class called Blaze Armor and get my reference and we want to extend item armor so extends item armor there we go and import that and we want to add a constructor save and then down below that there's a whole bunch of stuff we got to do now so pay attention so public string get armor texture parentheses item stack stack entity 
entity. And you want to make sure everything is exactly how I have it. Then integer slot and string type. So everything in that has to be exactly the way I have it. And you want to open that with curly brackets. And you want to control shift O, import all of that, and make sure you have that right. And change that to entity. Uh, there it is. All right, so that's going to um, add an error, but we need to add more stuff. So you're going to say if stack.getItem equals, so to equal sign mod armor dot, then we need blaze helmet. Then space and then the line right above the enter. You want to hold down shift and hit that twice, and that will create those two vertical lines. And then stack dot get item equals equals or equals mod armor dot place chest plate. And then once again those two vertical lines right above the enter key and stack dot get item equal equal or equals I should stop saying equal equals but mod armor dot blaze boots there we go so now we have that and we need to open that with curly brackets as well and down here you want to do else if parentheses stack dot get item equals mod armor dot blaze boots or the boots of your kind and then there's vertical lines again and stack dot get item equals mod armor dot boots or no dot leggings sorry so now we have that and we need to open those with curly brackets as well and then type else and curly brackets once again and in the else section you want to add return null n u l l and semicolon so now in between you want to do return get rid of that left strings dot mod id plus and then the name of your textures so one thing that is different though is you have to do with textures textures slash armor slash and then the name of your armor file and it has to have the dot png after it so blaze armor 2 dot png so it has to be exactly like that and then a semicolon so you want to import ref string or ref strings sorry import those and you want to copy this line of text right here copy that and place that in the top one and space your stuff out so it looks a little nicer and a bit easier to read just like that and we want to change this to blaze armor 1.png save that and now we're good to go so we're going to minimize that down for a bit and go into our folder and we're going to go to source main java assets tutorial mod textures now if you don't have a armor folder you want to make one and this is where your armor textures will go now uh, let me pull up my um, development one uh, let's see they're actually in here 
armor, and here is all my armor that I have made. Now you actually need two types of textures. You need the textures for um, armor when it is in your inventory, and you also need when it is on the player. So uh, those other textures will go in the items tab, which I will show you in a bit. But here we have the normal um, armor texture. Uh, this is a custom one. And this is how it looks. So that is armor texture one, and then we have um, armor texture two. So two different files, and they both need to be named that, and they gotta be exactly in order that the one with the helmet and stuff has to be number one, and the other one has to be number two, and make sure it is in your code that way, and make sure you have the .png in the code, uh, otherwise I don't think it works right. So yes, just make sure it's exactly like that, and you should be good to go. So now I'm gonna copy the ones from um, my mod that I'm currently developing right now. So I'm just gonna copy those textures over. Uh, once again, just make sure they're the right ones. Next, we wanna go back and into our items texture folder. And as well, I have made um, textures for them as well. So here we see we have our boot texture, uh, blaze, thing and stuff like that so I want to copy all four of those copy them to there and we're good to go so we can get rid of that and go back to our development so now comes the tedious part and we need to register everything as well so game registry dot register item so blaze helmets, and then oh, not that blaze helmet dot get unlocalized name. So now we have that, and we want to copy this three more times, and then we kind of add the rest of the pieces of armor. So you want to save all that, and then copy all of this. So one, two, three, and now you want to make sure that you change these numbers. So this, the chest plate has to be one, leggings two, and the boots three. And now you got to change all the rest of the names. So chest plate, go there, and once again make sure you leave the blaze armor there. So you change that name, change that name. And that's good to go. And change these other two as well. Fairly easy to do. And just like that. And now we need to set the textures for the um, armor when they are in your inventory. So that's very easy to do. It's basically the same as um, just texturing a normal item so yeah there we go and let's see what is wrong oh that's not spelled right all right so that works and we need to add armor to our server proxy and everything's good to go now so we have that already go so now we just gotta give it the texture so dot set texture name and then rest strings dot mod id plus quotation marks then colon and the name of the file so i actually don't remember uh, what my files are called so i have to look that up quickly uh, armor so oh wrong one items so blaze boots blaze chest all that good stuff all right so that would be blaze helmet i believe it may just be blaze helm but i don't remember so i'm going to copy this whoops come on mark all right let's just copy it this way 
There we go. Copy, paste, paste, and paste. So, his helmet, chest plate, legs, and boots. And because I didn't check good enough the first time, let me check again. Uh, blaze boots, chest, helmet, and legs. Good. And we can quickly name them as well. And these are just considered items. So, blaze helmet dot name equals blaze helmet. There we go. And let's copy that three more times because we can. And I won't be showing the crafting recipes because you can easily figure them out yourself. They are not hard to do whatsoever. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions though, um, take a look at the other video I did. And if you still can't figure it out, uh, leave a comment. So I can help you out. And now we just gotta change these and we should be good to go. So chest plate. Leggings and boots. So you're gonna save that and launch. So now, if everything went right, we should have blaze armor. And keep in mind, every time you add some of your mod, depending how much you add to it, uh, it will take longer to compile it and everything like that and loading it of course so if you load this up go to combat and it looks like please chest plate is missing something um please chest right um let's see i have to change something here uh yes there we go so you can see i made an error in texturing so if i save that and the texture is missing I hit hold F3, push T on the keyboard, and it should have gone. Okay, that's a bit odd. Um, unless I forgot quite how you do it. I think you may need to be in debug mode. So let's save, exit. Yeah, so let's run in debug mode. And now we should see our textures, right? There we go, and... Now they should be alright. Yes, there we go. So we have our blaze armor now. Fully enchantable and um, let's see, is it F3 and R or something? F3 and I, I don't remember what it is, but uh, one of them lets you see metadata and durability. Uh, so we should be able to equip this now. And F5, and something isn't quite right. All right, so take a look at our Textures, armor, blaze, armor, one. All right. Let's get our textures up here. Three of my textures, armor, and something is broken. What could that be? Blaze, armor, and blaze, armor. indeed. Oh, that would explain it. Don't forget your colons. All right, so now will this actually, yep, yeah, there we go. You can see because I'm in debug mode, it automatically uh, loads up the stuff, but here we have armor and it's nice and fresh. So yeah, there's how you add armor into Minecraft. 
or 1.710. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment below. Um, like I said before in other episodes, um, for adding potions effects and stuff to them, uh, I will do that later on uh, once I learn a bit more about that. But uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you learned anything. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below, and I will try and respond. So until next time, have a great day, and I will see you later. This is Heller, signing out.